What's up guys, Future Game Dev here, and welcome back to another episode of Besiege. I was feeling not quite inspired with Minecraft today, so I thought we'd come out of Besiege and see what we can do. Um, I've been working on... Well, what I've been working on isn't actually relevant to this level at all. In fact, it will probably destroy itself. Let's go free build mode just for a little bit. So this is rotated the wrong way. Let's let's fix that before we start. This is kind of it's not a trebuchet and it's not a catapult. I'm not really sure what it is. I called it a spin a pult, I guess. So it's it's 180 degrees backwards. Let's let's do that. So the idea is it spins until it throws. And that's about it. As far as a war machine goes, it is not very good at war. Except for setting everything on fire, apparently. <laughs> I wonder if we could have won that if this was a real thing. But, uh, it's also good at exploding. Goodness, it's good at exploding. <laughs> but, uh, that isn't really applicable to this level. I want to make it good enough that I can do trick shots, but, uh, we're not... Not quite there with it yet. So... Today, I wanted to build some sort of death machine that won't fall apart or set fire on everybody in order to win the level, which is uh, quite a task. So we've got a little work ahead of us. I haven't really thought out exactly what I want to do here, so I guess I'm just going to start framing things out and we'll, we'll see what happens. Okay, so apparently it doesn't... Well, it spins well when it's severed. Uh, okay, so steering is going to be a thing. I wonder, can we... Oh, I wonder. Mm, nope, that's not going to be powerful enough. But we got something here. I'll have to figure out steering later. So let's get that on the ground. Now, what will be our main source of death and destruction? Let's look at the weapons. We've got the spike ball. I haven't actually used the spike ball. What does that do? Is this there like a spike? Hmm. I wonder... I, I got a crazy idea. Can we use this for wheels? Oh, I gotta configure it. Uh-huh. Huh, huh. Maybe. Oh, boy. Let's get this one. Spike ball it up. This could be interesting. Oh, and then just for a little... Oh, that's a shame. Ah, oh, that works. <laughs> it does move. Can we make it spin faster? Rotation speed, much higher. I clicked out of the game. Sorry about that. Uh, spin faster. Yeah, it does move. Does it kill? Uh, can't tell. Its spine is severed. <laughs> yeah, it looks like it does. Until it gets severed in half. So that's mm, that's interesting. I don't know what we'll do with that. Let's look at mechanical. Is there any way I can make that go faster? Spinning block. Not really. Well. A powered cog, maybe. I wonder. Let me try that. Okay, so there are some permanently spinning cogs. They sprint. They spin pretty fast on their own. The question is if we can get them to spin these. Also, I wonder if we can get a circular saw on while we're at it. That would be good for the front. We'll do that on the front wheels. 
I feel like that one's going the, the wrong way. Oh, good grief, those front wheels are lethal. Uh, while we're at it, get that and give me a plow. Oh, it's too low. Hang on. Fix this. We need a plow on the front right now. That needs to happen. You kidding me? All right. Take another block. Take a plow. Oh, yeah. All right, let's see if we can get these spike wheels working. Uh, what do we need? I don't think a stick is going to be enough. Well, we could try. It will attach. That is interesting. Oop. That's not right. That's right. Okay. Hmm. Uh, let me let me get that in a little closer. No, that's as far out as it gets. Okay. Well, let's try it on this side. This is really interesting. I don't think that wooden pole is going to last very long. I think it's going to snap right off. Let's see. Oh, look at that go. Wow. That is lethal. Okay, so I'm going to need to bring this in a little bit because it's kind of out there right now. So give me a second to get this in order. So I'm trying to get a little fancy with the mechanics here and I'm not sure if it's gonna work out. I haven't played with cogs much so I'm not sure, I don't remember physics much about how these work but I don't know if this is gonna make one spin in the opposite direction. It is. Okay. That's not what I want and that tears itself apart. But... Hmm... I wonder if this means we should just change the design a little bit. Let's go with something a little more unconventional. Let's get a cog on the fourth side, and let's just do it on all of them. Actually, let's do powered cog here too. So that one spins this way. That spins this way. Is that right? Let's see. Tape, automatic. Nope, it's backwards. There we go. All spinning in conjunction. Good. So let's let's change this up with blocks because they're going to be a little stronger. Oh, I wonder if I could make this thing fly. That would be so sick. Uh, is that enough to fit them? No. Okay, so we do have to go to the two block. Okay, well, that's fine. I, oop, undo. I like how Control Z actually works in this game. Okay, spikey balls, spikey balls. The only thing I don't really think is gonna work is steering. I don't know if we're actually gonna be able to control this thing. It's just gonna, it's just gonna go on its own and be utter death and destruction to all that befall it. Let's see what that does. Normal speed. Oh my! Wait, is that? Spinning them all in the right direction. Undo that. Unpowered cog. Huh. So it looks like they spin this way and this way. They, they spin in a direction. That's kind of... I guess that's how the cogs work when they, <clears throat> when they work on each other. Uh, I wish there was a way I could make that different. If I made the base a little bigger, maybe. <clears throat> Edit that out. Okay. Oh, there we go. There we go. That is something. Okay. So now let's load this thing up. This is definitely not going where I thought it would, but it's so interesting. I have to see where it goes. I don't know what kind of death machine we're making here. So interesting. I was honestly expecting a machine that would be able to go forwards and backwards instead of just spin around in circles, especially like this. I've never used the spike balls before. So I'm, I'm very interested to see. Ooh, let's put one on the tips. 
I think that's kind of cool looking. And it might add extra death, so why not? Okay. Oh, oh wait, I uh, missed one on the tip here. Yeah, there we go. Oh, that is interesting. I don't know how well we can, how well we can control it. Look at them all. <laughs> Look at them all. Actually, let's take the spike balls off here because I think we can add some other kind of weapon. I'm not sure what. Maybe the metal blade. Because these things are spinning. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Extra carnage. Actually, they're kind of short, so it really doesn't affect them much. I wonder if we can make it fly, considering where we're at right now. This will also give us a chance to make the base a little taller and a little heavier, which is probably a good thing construction-wise, because right now it's kind of unstable, I guess. So I want to kind of beef it up. Now let, let's see what we can do here. I would love it if we can make this thing fly, because that'd be the best way to control it. Oh, I can't get another block in there? That's a shame. Oh yeah, because there's already one in there. Let's see how that... Oh my, oh my. That, that scares me. Let's leave that open and brace it. And then probably brace it diagonally too, otherwise this thing is just going to rip itself to shreds. Now, yeah, that's that's better. Now, what can we do here? I think this needs to be filled in. The designer in me is going crazy right now. Just say it. It'll it'll look good by the time this is all said and done. I just need to make peace with with this thing. That's not right. Okay, I should have done that from the start. Uh, actually, on this top row, let's do what I did uh, on the base, which was something like this, I think. Yeah, it was like this. Nothing, nothing fancy, just a little extra detail. So you can kind of tell it has a support beam and some other stuff. All right, flight. I don't know what it's going to take to make this thing get off the ground. Uh, but it's definitely going to need... The I'm hoping these four in the corner are enough to make it get off the ground. Flight automatic. And let's get it on all of them. Will it fly? Almost. Okay. So, these need to get cranked all the way up and then it might be the same thing as with my drone where if we hit all of them oh it levitates oh they took some of the things off okay so it doesn't quite fly but it is close listen to that oh 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 there it goes and it's done okay so flight may not well flight may be a good option Probably not, though. But this base up here is a good platform for more carnage. I wonder... Well, I always like to get a good torch in. So let's get some torches on here. Just because. And then... Cannon? Maybe? Oh, these will heat up if shot. Or... Yeah. Whoa, how did... Oh, we hit the world height limit. Put that on the ground. What does it see? It's fine. I wonder what would happen if I put these all facing each other. Because they're gonna fire once they're heated, because they're right next to a flame source. <laughs> Not much. Okay. So let, let's put them facing out, since that's what they're actually good for. 
I doubt this will do much to him, though. Actually, it's not that bad. It looks pretty cool with the flame, though. But it's a little busy. So we'll kill that for now. And then I would love to get some extra cannon action going. Metal spike. Ooh. I like that. Where can I put that? There's no place. It, it's not lethal enough. I don't know if just sitting here, if it's going to kill them all. Well, it'll kill most of them, but we really can't control it. That's the problem. So, how can we... Oh, we also need to armor plate it, otherwise the archers are going to get us. But we need to be able to control ourselves. And I'm not entirely sure the best way to do that. I guess if we control these independently. So let's try up, down, uh, down, up. We'll have to turn it off automatic though. Okay. And then let's try left, right and right left see if that does it left right that's backwards okay we're almost there we're, we're, we're turning off the automatic death and we will kill manually that's not really that funny but you know left right so how do we make it what is the combination to do the ultimate death spin I, I think we've turned off our most powerful asset, which is Crazy Spin. So we might need... We basically killed our best option. Let's take these off, because they kind of just make it hard to move. Oh, I just had a really cool idea for this top base. Okay, so I'll clue you guys in a little bit. I'm thinking spinning death trap uh, bombs. So if my thinking is right, uh, I can attach, let's see, spring? Oh, I need something attached to it. Spring. How can I make this work? I need something attached to that, so I can get it on there. I guess a block, so we'll have to push it out. But, basically, uh, bombs spinning from strings at extreme velocity I, is my idea. So we'll, we'll see how well it works. I'm, I'm not entirely sure what will happen, because you have to get the rate of speed of spin just right too. So let's get one on here and just test with that. Oh. Okay. Oh, that's just gonna get tied up. It's too heavy. Does it have to be farther out? Maybe... No. That wasn't right. Maybe it does actually... The block has to be out a little. Oh wait! It doesn't actually have to be attached to a spring. It just has to exist. What am I thinking? Actually, put those back so I can get the bombs on. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. There we go. And then grab her. Now, when I let this go, that's actually a good distance. It's a really good distance. So let's get <laughs> let's get bombs on all four all four sides of this thing. That base spins so 
crazy fast, I'm worried it's going to tear itself apart. I'm just going to be honest, but I think the explosion factor is going to be worth it. Good grief! That was a killer shot. Wow. That was so good. Do that again. Oh, man. I like that. I like that a lot. That is so cool. You know what? In that case, go back to automatic. We'll just let this be a tower of death, and we'll just figure out different ways to spew death from it. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, it's on fire. Look at it spin. Whoa. Oh. Did it blow itself up? How did that happen? Slow down. I'm guessing when the arrows hit. Yep. Arrows hit, and it's done. So we have to throw them ourselves. Oh. Maybe not even that. Woo. Yeah. Yeah. Death from above. Okay, so this needs some armor or it's going to be a flimsy dying mess. It also may or may not make it harder for it to spin. Mm -hmm. Ta -ta -ta. Armor up. How does that do? Does that help? Makes it look cooler. And then this needs some armor down here. It, it, everything just looks better with armor, really. Whoa! Yeah, I like that. I like that. So I'm kind of breaking my rule because I, I said we weren't going to try and use fire. But I guess it doesn't... Well, I guess it does set them on fire because that's really the easiest way to win you set one on fire you get them really close and then they all burn yeah kind of broke my rule oh well I still like the spinning tower of death it's it's really nice in my opinion it's a work of art really spinning tower of death it needs more death it needs to kill better. That top, though. I wonder. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Can we... Mechanical. I need a decoupler. And that is controlled by... What? J. Okay. Now. Flight. This is going to get so interesting. Spin. As fast as you can. Automatic. Whoa! Yee. Jay. No. Why is it doing that? What is blowing it up now? Oh! There's no block. Okay. <laughs> that was- that would do it. Okay, here we go. Are you stable now? Jay. Oh, that wasn't Jay. It, I don't know if it'll spin, if it'll take off. It doesn't go high enough, fast enough. We need more, we need more power. Oops. There we go. Flight. Uh. Extend this out. Move that thing. It wasn't in the way anyway. Okay. We need, we need more elevation if we want this thing to take off. Because if it's truly going to be death from above, we have to do it right. Why is it making that noise? That's new. Ooh, there it goes. Oh, yeah. And where's the top piece? There's its shadow. Crash. Okay. Yeah. So we got a little control with it. Oh, 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 can't see, can't see. Yeah, there it went. It likes to blow up. 
Oh, I wonder if I key map this to V, just like the explosives, when it blows, it takes off. So it's meant for short range, but it gets rid of the piece once it's done. I like it. I should move the decoupler to, oh, that's the center block. I can't get rid of that. Oh, well, I wanted it to take the spinny gear with it. I probably could. Yeah, I probably could. Oh! Hold up. Hold up. That's not spinning on its own anymore. There we go. Fire away! I like, th I like the fact that it takes off on its own. And then this is just chaos waiting for whoever gets close. Oh, we can put back on the big blades since we're letting it be a spinning tower of death and destruction and absolute chaos. Yeah. Will that be lethal enough? We still haven't taken care of the archers because we can't move. That's, that's my only problem. Because we haven't actually won the level yet. And we can't get those those bombs high enough. What else can we kill with? <gasps> ooh, 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 ooh! Cannons, cannons, please. Yes. Oh, come on! It's not long enough. Okay. Well, this piece already takes off on its own. <laughs> So it's disposable Because once the cannons fire they're useless anyway So let's just load it up Why can't I get my cannon placement right? We're just gonna go cannon crazy Right Yeah cannon crazy and then how yeah just like this uh huh so oh okay let's try this fire cannons fire bombs too heavy okay cannons are a bad idea it was a good idea it's just too heavy of an idea which is a shame okay so bombs away and then death from below but we still need to kill the archers we haven't won yet what do we need we need one more thing on here what can we put I'm looking at it we've got oh circular blades I wonder if we could throw them, the circular blades, or make tiny little robots <laughs> that are circular blades. That would be fun. Let's let's try that. Uh, can we build under here? How much room do we have? If I if I translate up, how much we got? That much room before we're illegal. Okay. I eh, just set it on the ground. That's fine. Uh, I want to have a little mini robot that I can drive that's powered just by circular blades. Where can I build off to get that? Okay. Right here. This is technically cheating because it's its own little machine, but I just want a little, a little death that I can control. So... Let's go circular blade, and that will spin on its own. Flip that. Oh, yeah. So that'll take off like crazy. Let's give it... Oh, it's going to be like that. Mm-hmm. And uh-huh. And then... Oh, we can't control them. 
it's just gonna go like crazy. Well, that's uh, that's no good. This is gonna be a little breakdance bot. Okay. In that case, I need. What do I need? If I do this, will it be too heavy to fly when we let it off? Oh. Yes. Oh, actually, they're setting off the bombs. That's why. Man, I don't know what I need. Hmm. Let's just let it go for a minute and see what happens. These archers are really annoying me, though. Because we haven't actually killed them. And we're probably about to set on fire. Oh, come on. Oh! We won! Well, I'm happy that we can win, but I still want to get the archers. How can I get the archers? What do I need? I need something. Anything. I don't know if this design can actually do it, to be perfectly honest. Because it's, like we said, spinning tower of death. So, maybe it's not actually supposed to kill... Oh, my! Maybe it's not actually supposed to kill everything. Just most of it. Man, I love it when the bodies come raining back down. That's so funny. Look at it go. Oh, there's the top! Go ahead. Do you feel lucky, punk? You're, going, you're so going to die. He doesn't even know where it is. He's going this way. What is he after? There's some little part he's after. Oh, there went a wheel. Well, <clears throat> guys, I think that's probably going to do it for this episode of Besiege. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the spinning tower of death. In two parts. <laughs> anyway, leave a like if you enjoyed... Leave me some suggestions in the comments for stuff to build. Because I love coming in here and just building random stuff. That tree is on fire. So, uh, yeah. Send me some ideas in the comments for stuff to build. Because I, I love doing this. But sometimes I need a little direction or I end up with a spinning tower of death. Anyway, guys. Until next time. Unless the internet explodes. I'm the future game dev. You guys take care.